Man, check it out. The new Lapai LP1601S. Guys, this is uh, really the first time I've ever seen this, so I'm actually really excited. You ever get a piece of equipment and just get really excited just by the, the box? <laughs> I know it's an amplifier, right? So it's not anything that you would think to be. But man, that thing is that thing is huge. That thing is like four times bigger than the Lapai 2020 box that it comes in. All right, let's see what this is. Now this is a 200 watt Class D stereo amplifier with Bluetooth, and it includes the power supply. So let's see what you get in it. All right, first thing you get: operating manual. So we get uh, the manual that tells it. Now it says it's 160 watts by two, and it's 10% THD. Uh, and it will drive anything from 4 to 8 ohms. And it can use anything between a 24 and 36 volt uh, DC power supply. So, and the Bluetooth distance is up to 30 meters. Oh, it does have aptX on there too. And A2DP. So that's really, really cool. Alright, let's check it out. Let's put that aside. Man, look how well this is packaged. You know, th this is actually really impressive uh, for an amplifier like this. You know, an amplifier is typically an amplifier, but... Uh, you get your power cord, which is a nice beefy power cord, not only those cheap power cords. You get an antenna. I'm going to assume that's for the Bluetooth, but I don't know. Can't think of what else it would be for. And you get a massive power brick. And that thing is huge. That is a, let's see, a 32 volt 3 amp power supply. So, yeah, that thing is massive. And let's see what we get. Let's see what the amplifier itself looks like. Ooh, wow, that's really nice. It's black aluminum casing. Look at that, it's got a headphone input, which is really nice to have. Not very many amplifiers actually have that. It's got your power on and off, and this looks like it selects between Bluetooth and, of course, uh, your input on the back, which is here, and that is the Bluetooth antenna. And it looks like it also has really nice binding posts and we'll have to test those out later too. Guys, I think I have the perfect speakers to test these out on. In fact, we're gonna test this out on a couple different speakers and see what it sounds like. Those of you who have been watching my channel are gonna be quite surprised. I actually have used this in a video already. That's right, the reveal speakers, when I played them just by themselves without the subwoofer, this is the amp I used. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick listen to that, and then we're gonna switch over to some Klipsch tower speakers. All right guys, so let me tell you a little bit about the listening experiences with this particular amplifier. I was actually very, very impressed that it handled those reveal speakers as well as it did. I was a little concerned because this is a pretty high amplifier for something so small for those micro speakers, especially with the first order crossover. Yet it handled it with ease without any type of distortion and they sounded really, really good. Now, I was careful with the volume control. I wasn't blasting those away or anything. However, the clip speakers, I did turn up, and I'll tell you what, man, that could have gone to an obscenely loud volume if I wanted to. Now, I did have those on Bluetooth, and the reveals I had hardwired, so that way you could see that it worked on both of them. Now, I will tell you that those clips had a tactile response that I hadn't felt from those speakers for. Now, I do typically watch those with movies and with a subwoofer. However, this thing really did power that bass very well, and I was really shocked to feel the amount of bass that came out of those clips because it's just not what you typically think of when you think of those clip speakers. So I was actually very, very impressed. All right, now let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the things, the highlights of this amp that I really, really like. First of all, very heavy aluminum case. It's not like that Lapai, which is a very cheap, soft aluminum case it's also very very heavy and the switches are very nice on it they have a nice tactile feel to them and it's just built very very well this is not 
the cheap like lapai that you're used to this is a very high quality lapai unit one of the things that they went above and beyond that i like is that when you flip it over to bluetooth it cuts off the signal to the input and vice versa that makes sure that you never play two sources at the exact same time through the amp Another thing that I really absolutely love is the binding posts on these. The binding posts are just great and it fits banana plugs straight in there. I was afraid of that. And it does screw out for you to put uh, speaker wire in as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. And honestly, if you're looking for a nice desktop or even just small um, listening area amplifier, I think this thing would be an absolutely great addition and really is a really good value at the price that it's at. Now, go ahead and go to Parts Express, check it out, um, and feel free to pick one up. Let me know what you think of it if you do, because I would love to hear your impression as well. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks, guys. Double digit